Okay, here is every strongest Pokemon's Game Pass, ranked from the worst to the best, so you know which ones to buy. Let's go. So, first things first, there are seven Game Passes in the game. Don't worry, I own these, I just got them gifted to me. We have Early Access, Private Service Plus, Extra Emote Slots, VIP, Kill Sound, Emote, Second Page, and Awakening Outfit, which is the newest one. So, starting off in the number seven spot is gonna have to be Emote Pages. It was new, the hype was big, but like, if you have extra emote slots, you could get all of these. This is what Emote Pages does, by the way. Gives you a second page. So this is my second page of emotes. This is my first page of emotes. And yeah, that's all it does. 99 Robux Game Pass. It's pretty cheap, but it's still getting the last place for. Now on number six, another thing related to emotes. You probably know this. Extra emote slots. Pretty much, normally you have one, two, three, four emotes. Emote slots gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is a lot more. The reason why this is above emote pages is because it costs the same price, and you don't have to like go to the next page then use the emote. Instead, you could just you could just do that. Cause they're right here when you press B. You don't have to press B and press a button. And then yeah. And in the number five spot is Awakening Outfit. So what this does is it allows you to like use some of your avatar. So what is this? When did I make this? So pretty much you could go, this is what it does. It's actually really cool. And boom, I'm Gary now. Um, the reason why this is getting the fifth spot, not anything higher, <clears throat> one fatal flaw. The point of Saitama's ultimate, if you made Saitama, the point of its ultimate is to be stealthy, so when you do this, it kind of gives away that you have your ultimate. But hey, that's just one thing. So yeah. Okay, number four, we're getting into the top three. Right after this is kill sounds. Pretty much what kill sounds do, it's kind of obvious what they do. Do I have a kill sound on right now? I think I do, hold on. Wait! They brought it back! No one told me about this, but okay. They brought back the oof death down, which is cool. What is my death sound? Alright, we have the Wikipedia here. Um oh! I said my volume down. It's so loud. It kind of got a little bit like, you could hear it in the end though. That's basically what it does. And if you want some IDs for it, here you go. This, 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 this. Now we get into the top three most popular game passes. Also the most expensive game passes. And also the game passes that are somewhat considered pay to win. In the number three spot, we have VIP. I was gonna put this at second, but mm, it, it's just really close. It's like, mm, I like it because, you know, you can have a custom cape. Also, hide kills. People don't know how much kills you have. Hide streak. If you have a kill streak, then it hides it, which is really cool. Hide VIP status so people won't know that you're VIP. I usually have all these on except for hide kills. Um, VIP cape, as you can see, I have a cape, there we go, and yeah, that's what VIP does. But also, right here, we can see, hear me out, do I let VIP users custom their entrance message? So, pretty much, it's your username has arrived, we can probably see that in the chat here. Yep, S Cameroni 5005 has arrived. Um, but you can, um, change these, so this would say, uh, what would it say? A cool person has joined. You can change it to say stuff like that. This might actually come out judging by how many people voted for yes. So yeah, that's all for VIP. Now, we get into the next one. In the second place spot is Private Server Plus. Now, this game pass is just crazy. I was honestly considering putting it in first place because how crazy it is. Um, l let me show you some stuff, okay? Private Server Plus. Um, but pretty much, uh, is this Private Server Plus? Maybe. You can do some of this. Ah! You can also do some of... <laughs> you can also... 
You can also fiddle around with some of these. Oh no, this game's gonna be weird with these. Okay, that's fine. You can also... Oh, there's the death sound. Um, wrong character, I won't lie. Yep, yep, yep. Ah! Oh, this is new. They added something to the map. Um, there's also game modes. I don't really have anything to play with. Um, there's also a storm, which kind of reminds me of our upcoming video. Pretty much, um, I won't yap too much. Just go down to the comments, because uh, I'm hosting a battle royale that you can join. It has every single character. That's all that I want to say. Just go down to the comments or description. You can also lock the server so no one can join it. You can also kick on death. Which it doesn't work if you're the uh, well, it does work if you're the owner. And we're back. Now this brings us to the number one spot. This one's arguably the most pay to win in the entire game. It is early access. If you don't know what early access is, why am I saying this? Of course you know what it is. But like before it was Wild Psychic. They made it free a little bit ago. Now we have a new character, Martial Artist. So if you click on this without um, Early Access, it'll say, would you like to buy Early Access to obtain this character? But I luckily have it, which people say it's pay to win because, come on, tell me this isn't OP. I just missed. Just look at this. Flabook. I missed. Hold up, I need to show you guys something no cooldown. Okay, I missed. Nice. Okay, I missed. Nice. Alright, I'm pretty good at this game, I won't lie. There we go. Now look at this. That's insane. But yeah, that's all for this video. Goodbye.